on the table. Do you like the sounds of bones breaking? Blood spilling? Teeth tearing apart things? Well, you might just see that today because we are opening Stickpot Monsters, a new series for 2022. Hey everyone, this is Dan. Thank you for watching Squirrel Stampede today as Zing has sent over this year's Monsters of Bot, the Cyborg and Werewolf Pack, plus a few more terrifying, ultra terrifying, bone chilling scare. Why is there a chicken running across the table? This is supposed to be a scary review. We are not showing farm animals. It's monsters today. Just, just get out of, get, go. Anyhow, bones breaking, blood spilling, teeth shredding apart things with stick bot monsters. This should be terrifying, so turn away if you're the squeamish. Squirrel, Squirrel stampede. stampede. Very well, let's begin this stickbot box dissection. Landry, scalpel. <laughs> Landry, you almost cut off Sparkle Stickbot's head. Is he okay? Oh, thank goodness he's okay. Landry, we have to be more careful with that scalpel. Okay, here, let's see if I can cut into this box without causing any more trouble. There we go, it should be ready to open. This is the new Stickbot Monsters Werewolf Cyborg themed pack. Here we go. Everybody careful, everybody on edge. Stay on edge, stay on edge. What? Stickbot Monsters, bring your nightmares to life with Stickbot Cyborg and Werewolf packs. Each of these sinister sets has the complete cast of characters to make your own horror film. Simply pose them for a photo or download our free mobile app at Zing Studio for iOS and Android and begin sharing your creations with StickBot. Look at the mad scientist. There's a mad scientist. Crazy. Insector, Werewolf, and Cyborg. Prey. And Aqua Fang has returned in this box. There already seems to be some terrifying shuffling around in the box, but I have pulled first the new StickBot Werewolf. <laughs> Ah, nothing beats a fresh stick bot out of the box. <laughs> stick bot werewolf featuring a coppery bronze, a little bit metallic in a way, opening and closing jaw. Ah, careful, careful, be nice, be nice. We have some packaging to get off your foot, so let me just try and get that without getting bit. Ah, ah, great leg extension. Uh, let's try this one here. Oh, it, careful, careful, careful. There we go. Let's try and get you to stand correctly just for a moment so we may gaze upon you. What do we call it? Wary? Wolfy? Rewolfy? Wolf wear? Stick wolf? Bot wear stick? Great looking design on this one. Looks to be mostly classic stick bot parts, but with a doggy wolf head, doggy wolf forearms and hands, and a fuzzy chest body piece. And that head sculpt is so pretty terrific. Ah, look at Doggy Bot, so cute. And the opening and closing jaws is a nice extra. Unless they bite you. Red toned eyes, maybe, or maybe just a little bit, a black line there uh, with the undercolor underneath. And maybe what color? Blue cord? A blue cord underneath. What a Doggy Bot. I like the little paws. Very cute and sinister. <laughs> And it's Sparkle Stickbot showing friendship and companionship by greeting the new were- Oh! Stop! Stop! Wherebot is mauling Sparkle Stickbot! Somebody call the president! Well, while the president tries to figure out how to pick up his phone with a suction cup, we'll get back to the box. I'm afraid it's too late for Sparkle Stickbot. We'll just leave him over here to rest. So our next bot of stick in the box, what are we gonna pull? I'll just randomly grab something. There's a lot in here. 
Okay, I got something. I, I think this is the one I randomly choose. My eyes are closed and it's very orange. Who is, oh, there's legs everywhere. Yikes. It won't stop kicking up. I believe this is Insector. Insector here seems very familiar, but from where? Well, that will have to be for another time because I just can't remember. But Insector here in bright orange. Also full of box packaging to keep these cups of suction nice and safe. Let's get these all off. Every one protected by a little bit of cardstock. Nice white cups on this one too. Very rare to see a monster or bot with the white cups. They're always black almost 90% uh, of the time or more from what I've experienced over the years. Just amazing, the four double arms and the haunting, glowing transparency of pumpkin orange. You always have to have an insector here as a minion of destruction, that's for sure. Oh, look at that. Sparkle Stickbot seems to be feeling better. Oh, there he go. Uh-oh, he's going to meet up with Insector and... They embrace in a universal friendship hug. Oh, that's so special. <gasps> ah! Oh, no. Werebot, disgusted from this display of friendship over horror, has decided to take on both of them, knocking them all down. Well, while that gets taken care of, let's check back in on the president trying to answer the phone because of these horrible monsters attacking the city. Oh, he almost got the phone off the hook. Very well, there's nothing but to do now than release another monster. Who could it be this one? Ugh, slippery. Aquafang? This one too, looking somewhat familiar, yet I cannot place my foot on it yet. So Aquafang in green here. Always really quite striking these fluorescent transparencies, translucencies you can see right through Aquafang here. Aquafang sporting those awesome classic fins on the side of its head. Flipper fins for aquatic attack. Only two arms with Aquafang, two legs, mostly a standard stickbot body I believe. Oh no, if you can see in the light. Uh, there is some scaling on Aquafang. A little trickier to see with the fluorescence and sensees, uh, but you can see uh, some of the scaling going on the chest there in the light, if I can get the light to reflect just right. And we probably should move these box cups on more white suction cupped figures today. Really fun to see these, uh, these stark white cups on these dudes. Well, I believe Werebot has now discontinued his attack over Sparkle Stickbot and Insector. The three seem to be good right now. Oh look, here comes President Stickbot now, President Trumpbot, with his phone to solve this crisis with the monsters. Aye! <laughs> oh no! Trumpbot is being attacked by the Mad Scientist Bot! <laughs> mad Scientist Bot, what did you do to President Trumpbot? Oh no. We're gonna need Medic Bot here, Medic Bot, and uh, get Trump Bot back into um, good health. So here is Mad Scientist Bot with a Mad Scientist suit, a printed suit, I believe. Yes, a printed white lab coat on this scientist. Rare to see a printed piece on these, usually never paint, but sometimes applied stickers to these guys. Also a very scientific-esque face with the glasses and the line of uh, frown there on him. Let's remove all these uh, packaging inserts. Uh, also with blue cups on this one, which are pretty cool looking, very like sterile in a way. It looks like something your dentist would wear. Uh, this would be a fun gift to a dentist. Um, there he is, looking ready to drill into the monsters of this collection. Perhaps later you can help repair what you did to poor President Stickbot. Okay, a couple more in this pack of six stickbot monsters. Let's check out the prey here. The prey is an interesting piece. He's just been really beat up. Almost a classic inspired color stickbot there in aqua, an aqua light blue, but with horrible scratches across its torso and arm and even eye. There's a scratch on its eye. This poor dude has been attacked by monsters. Total prey. Kind of a fun idea for the pack. You can have your mad scientist set up your poor prey and be hunted by all the other monsters. Very well done with this one. Also, I believe printed pieces on that. That's not sticker work. It's really cool to see simplified paint detailing on the stick bots now. 
So pray, what say you have to do today? I gotta get out of here! Ah! I'll get him, boss! Oh man, I don't like being prey! Ah, get back here! Alright, well that leaves us with one last final monster to look at, and this would be the drumroll, please. The cyborg of the werewolf the cyborg pack. Now, stick bots are already pretty much bots, but what a fun idea to see a more of a robot-esque design. In fact, this could be a whole entire series. I would love to see this expanded upon a more robotic series of stick bot. We're just being teased right now. Look at this guy. It's really fun to see the mechanical nature of this guy. A torso piece that is very mechanicalized. Uh, shoulders about the same, but those arms, those rotating round cannon arms on his sides, very interesting. And that headpiece, very old school classic-esque robot look. Totally looks designed from yesteryear. Oh man! Ugh, I don't feel so well. Someone help me. My hair. Oh, my hair. Yeah, mad scientist, you really need to do something about Trumpbot's hair. Mad Scientist is gesturing to his lab. Let's go over there and see if we can repair Trumpot's hair. Okay, we have now entered the Mad Scientist's lab where he will perform an operation and hopefully repair former President Stickbot Trump's head. So shall we heal the hairpiece there, Doctor? He's positioning the equipment and... Ah, there we go. His hairpiece has been restored. Tremendous work, Doctor. Now, back to my secret classified documents. So what a series the new monsters have turned out to be. Obviously, I think the star of the show is the werebot, the werewolf, and of course, the cyborg of this pack. With the Mad Doctor, lots of adventures can be had. And this Prey character, pretty fun too, with the scratching. And I just noticed maybe even some sort of bite mark on his leg. Ouch. Not to forget the funness of Insector back over here, really good character with the multiple arms. And Aqua Fang somewhere out there wherever he went. I'm way over here. So to find the box, this is the Werewolf and Cyborg theme set found over at Amazon or your zingstore.com. It's quite the terrifying pack that will amplify any stickbot collection. So what do you think about this year's wave of stickbot monsters? Some nice new additions to the group. If you like today's video, please give us a squake, a squirrel eye, and a squamant, your favorite new stickbot monster. Thank you so much to Zing again for sending over this complimentary bot of pack of monsters. They were a pleasure to terrify with. Thank you so much for watching. That's what I have to say about that. A little trickier to see with the fluorescence and 